it's Reviews Day, the day I tell you what I think about things. And today I'm talking about the 7th and 8th Hellraiser movies, Hellraiser Debtor and Hellworld, both from 2005. On top of having just the dumbest name in the franchise, Hellraiser Debtor is yet another movie where the script was not originally a Hellraiser film. Although compared to the previous two, this one definitely seems like they put a little bit more time and effort into it, making sure that it all actually ties together, with Pinhead and the Cube playing a much larger role all throughout the entire movie, not feeling like it was just crammed in at the end. And once again, they upped their chain budget. Our lead character is once again an investigative reporter who, after seeing a mysterious tape of some kind of ritual, is sent to investigate the cult behind making it. The people from the cult have found some way to tap into the power of the cube, unleash some form of immortality, but of course there's a price to pay. It's not the most memorable, but it's certainly not the worst one of these movies so far. Now, Hellworld is a completely different experience from any of the other movies in the series so far, especially compared to the previous three. Hellworld is almost a teen slasher movie. There's your usual plot twists and things that aren't quite what they seem, which made it pretty entertaining, even if it didn't always make sense. It was pretty entertaining to see Henry Cavill in this movie, although I will say he was giving me some pretty heavy Tom Welling from Smallville vibes throughout, which was kind of funny. You know who else shows up in this movie? Lance freaking Henriksen. To paraphrase The Dark Knight, you either go out as a classic or you live long enough to see Lance Henriksen join your cast. This is the fourth movie in a row where they took another script that already existed and just shoved in the Hellraiser related material. It's not the worst culprit, it's certainly a lot less obvious than previous movies, but it's still noticeable. Unfortunately, the biggest complaint I have about this movie is how little Pinhead and his Cinnabites are actually in it. There are basically no chains in this movie. Honestly, Hellworld is one of my favorite movies in the series. It was a lot of fun to watch. And with those out of the way, we're in the home stretch. Just two more movies to go in the Hellraiser franchise. Come back tomorrow for Hellraisers 9 and 10. I'm Phil the Thrill, that's what I think about those things, and I'll see you next Reviews Day.